time to go. I'll be back. I'll be right back. And this is a cool scene. I wish there was just like some hay bales or something out there. That was kind of a cool shot right here too. I think there's some water down there. I want to get up in the mountains though. That's where we're going right there. Up in there, I think there's like a little road. You can kind of see it, like a logging road. I want to try to get up in there somewhere, find a cool spot. Got some hay here. Really pretty field. There's a hunting stand. Daisy vibes. Okay. So I think this is the road I'm going to take here to the left. I haven't been over here yet, so I'm not quite sure where this road leads. I feel like I should probably time myself, you know, like how far up I'm willing to go. In like 10 minutes, turn back around. 10 minutes at the most. It smells so fresh up here. I took a couple allergy pills before I came up here though. I don't know why, but I think this thing is so freaking cool. It looks awesome. Yeah, this is a great spot with this log here. You could sit on it, hang out. I think, I think this is probably gonna be it. I'm just gonna go up a little further. I got some time. Very pretty. Look at that bee. All right. I think I'm gonna turn around to that spot and go and paint that. It's just like I have like that uh that curiosity like that that like I want to see what's next you know like I want to keep going and see what's next I don't want to just like stop this is turning more into a more into like a hike than a than a painting but you know like Holy shit. Yeah, we'll go on a, go on ahead and go back. I think that was a fucking good sign to go back. I survived the bearded dragon, or whatever it was. We got the spot set up. I'm sweating so much right now. Holy fuck, dude. I don't know if I'm sweating because I almost just died or because of the hike. It's a combo. It's definitely a combo. Show you guys my palette really quick. Got some titanium white, some raw umber, burnt umber, yellow ochre. This is uh, lemon yellow, cadmium yellow. I'm not sure. Got some deep red, cadmium red, um, light blue. What the fuck color is this? I don't even know what color that is. Some light blue, ultramarine blue. Uh, I thought that was a viridian, but it's actually sap green. And then I got ivory black also. Kind of a big palette. Uh, I wasn't expecting to really paint with this many colors, but I uh, bought like one of those like oil paint color, you know, starter pack things. So like all these like small tubes. I've actually never even heard of this brand before. Um, yeah. yeah, leave it in the comments below, dude. So. I'm just using linseed oil and turpentine and usually I use beeswax when I paint like portraits like if you see my portraits I usually 
incorporate some beeswax in there. But it, it's, I, I never really paint all the Prima, so, uh, in fact, I never paint all the Prima, so this is also a good exercise for me just to paint. I don't know if that's a person howling or if that's like a wolf. For my mental sake, I'm just going to assume it's a redneck howling. I don't know what's more scary, a redneck howling in the woods or just a wolf howling in the woods. I, I haven't decided yet. Oh, one more thing when I paint, I usually wear the Michael Jackson glove, the one glove. It's not white, but um, just like a, you know, like a gardening glove. So that way it doesn't destroy my hand because uh, turpentine will really dry out your hand. I, I don't really think it's like super, it is toxic, but it's not like, you know, toxic enough to like really fuck you up. But just to kind of protect your one hand. Uh, that's what I recommend wearing gloves, uh, especially if you're using lead white. I'm not using lead white, but if you are, I highly recommend using gloves. So what we have so far, um, trying to get the log, get some of the trees. Um, I still have to get the bright contrast here. I'm trying to mark in the shadows first. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really pretty. All right, back to it. done for today. I tried to get the mountain in the background a bit and it was very difficult. It was a hard scene. It was a lot of fun though. Um, I learned quite a bit. I tried to work as fast as possible and I still felt like I was taking forever. I could stay out here for you know another at least another hour or so maybe even two and work on this but um, that's pretty much it for right now. I uh, try to get the log in there, some trees. There's just so many trees back there. Um, Pretty abstract, I added some color variety that wasn't really there. Um, just try to give it a, my touch, just you know, what I see. Um, that's the end of the palette. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun. Now we gotta go on the journey back. Last little look-see at our spot. 
definitely have to come back here. Well, we survived. That was fun. The lizard almost killed me, but you know, that was his home. I was invading his home. He was just protecting his family, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I learned a lot. I I realize now, like, when I'm painting shadows, I need to paint with more grays. The shadows were a bit saturated, and they were competing with the foreground a lot. I kept adding cadmium yellow, and I wasn't, like, hitting, like, as bright as I wanted it to hit. And I feel like it was because the rest of the shot was, like super saturated so i'm definitely gonna have to work on that it was a lot of fun had a good time thanks for watching uh, i'm gonna have some more of these videos coming out soon just uh trying to learn some plain air painting come on my journey and learn with me so thanks again for watching bye